Hello everyone, this is Nicholas. Today we're going to review the ASUS M4 Tough Gaming Wireless Mouse. So before I give you my own thoughts of the M4, I figured I should explain a little bit about the specifications and also uh, what the overall package includes. So the M4 supports dual wireless mode. You first have the 2.4GHz wireless which requires the USB-A dongle and the other one would be Bluetooth connectivity. It has a gaming grade of 12,000 DPI optical sensor for pixel precise tracking. This can be changed on the fly with a 4 level sensitivity adjustment. The DPI button is situated right in the middle adjacent to the wheel scroller which actually looks like a tire. The mouse is mid-size and lightweight, only coming in at 62 grams. Another thing good about it is that it is ambidextrous, which means no matter if you're left-handed or right-handed, the Tough M4 will be suitable either way. It also has the ASUS antibacterial guard treatment, which keeps the mouse clean and sanitary. But uh, personally, I wouldn't know how well this will actually preserve, but it's of course always good to keep your equipment clean. The materials that are used on the mouse is a premium PVT polymer top cover, finishing in a matte material. Overall, I think it's designed quite nicely, and also not to forget, there are two different buttons on the side which are programmable. And in terms of the grip, I think if you have mid to large hands, the M4 will be fine. But if your hands are slightly smaller, there may be a little bit of a difficulty. So the powerhouse of the M4 is either a AA or AAA battery. And you wonder how does that work? Now the package has a bundled battery converter holder, which allows you to utilize AAA batteries in a AA battery form. Apparently ASUS claims that by doing this, it allows a 10% of weight reduction. For me personally, it's not really a huge difference, but either way, it's provided. Now on the bottom side of the mouse, you will notice the 100% PTFE mouse feet, which allows for a smooth and swift glide. Now, of course, I know it's a mouse, but uh, let's not forget about the tactility of it. So here is a quick mic test. So the clicks are pretty much very crisp and uh, they're pretty much spot on. So what are my thoughts on the M4? Now, in my humble opinion, I don't have much of a range to compare it to. Um, I'm actually dailying the ROG Gladius Wireless 3 currently, and I've also utilized the Razer Death Adder Essential. So among the three, I felt that I was required to use a little bit more of a force while clicking on the M4 as compared to the Death Adder Essential and also the Gladius Wireless 3. The M4 really doesn't fall short. Um, I mean, the features and the stuff that they have provided in this package and at this kind of price range, I think it's very decent. So essentially, that's my take on the ASUS Tough M4. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and also click the little notification bell icon so you're notified whenever I upload my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Nicholas and I'll see you guys in the next one.